Hello everyone. In this tutorial, we will learn about functions in Jira query language. Before we get start and take some of the examples of functions, let's understand what are functions in jQuery. So functions perform useful calculations behind the scene and return the value for comparison in the search query. Functions maximize the efficiency in jQuery. And you can use functions only with the advanced search. They are not supported in the basic search of Jira. Now, let's look at some of the important functions with examples. There are many functions in JQL, but most commonly used functions can be divided into three categories. First one is functions involving time. Second is functions involving people. And third one is functions involving issues. Now let's take these examples one by one. So open advanced search, click on advanced and it will open the advanced search text box. Now functions of time, let's take an example. So for example, you are looking for issues in the open sprint what function you'll use to get the issues in the open sprint so you'll just say sprint and then in open sprints so it will list all the issues that are currently in open sprints now second example of functions involving time is you want to get issues created in last two days. So the query would be created is greater than or equal to start of the day and then provide the value parameter in last two days, okay? And it will list the issues that were created in last two days. Third example that I want to show is if you want to find issues that were created in last eight hours or last four hours, how will you do that? So created greater than or equal to minus eight hours. If you're looking for issues that were created in, in last eight hours, if you're looking for issues in last four hours, just change it to four hours. And created less than use the function now so what this query will do is this query will return the issues that were created in last four hours from now from the current time okay so there are no issues so let's change it to 12 hours still no issues I'll change it to 16 hours Okay, so there was one issue created in last 16 hours from now. Now, second example I want to show is functions involving people. So, you want to find issues assigned to current logged in user. So, for example, assignee is equal to So this will re result or this will list, this query will list all the issues that are currently assigned to me or I'm the logged in user. So it will list all the issues assigned to me. But can you imagine this same query if I save it and share with my team, will this work? No, it won't because I have hard coded my name in the assignee and it's listing the issues that are assigned to me because I have hard coded the name. Anyone else that who wants to use the similar query has to update. So for example, if John is logged in or Peter is logged in in his Jira instance, he has to change his name in order to get the issues that are assigned to him. So important thing here to note is you have to use function here. So for example, assignee is equal to current user. So what this query will do is current user function will get the value 
based on who is logged in so for example i'm logged in in this instance it will get the value my name and will list all the issues assigned to me and now if i save this query and share with my team then any member who is using this query can use it without modifying anything second example of function involving people is i want to find issues created by members of specific team okay so creator in i'll use members of and then i'll say jira software users okay so just provide the group for which you want to find issues so any member of this group who has created issues will be listed all the issues listed will be listed which are created by members of this particular group now third category of functions is functions involving issues first example i want to take is issues i'm watching so if you want to find issues that you're watching simply type in the query issue in and then use function watched issues it will list all the issues that you are you have been watching okay second example is so for example you want to see the history or the recent history that the issues that you have recently viewed then just say issue in issue history function and will list all the issues that you have recently viewed in the history so that is pretty much all about uh, functions in the next tutorial we will learn about some of the functions related time thank you